daily quick sketch day 44. For this one, I had a concept of how I could create a spiral in Blender. And it was actually pretty simple. So um, how I did, did it was basically I grabbed a plane or not a plane, a circle, filled that with a face. So it's just one single circular face. I then inset that face just using the I button or the hotkey I inset in edit mode to create a very small face in the center of that big circle. I then added more cuts to the rest, like basically adding more loops to that circle like a lot the more you have the better and then i selected the middle face rotated that or before i rotated i enabled proportional editing selected the sharp option the one that you can see at the middle top on my screen right there and then i rotated that on the z-axis and this way you can create this very nice spiral uh spiral form first in the topology itself of this circle and then if you want to apply a texture to it you go into the of course material options you bring in a texture and using a mapping node and a texture coordinate connected to that mapping node if you, if you have node wrangler enabled you can just press ctrl t when you have the texture selected you can then set the or you, you can apply the texture to the uvs of that circle you might have to unwrap it just go into edit mode select everything and then press u unwrap and then you can just you have your perfect spiral basically of course depending on what what kind of texture you use your spiral might look different from mine i think i used a musgrave texture so if you want to recreate what i have you can just use a musgrave texture as well and then i also added an image just to set the color to color scheme the color shapes and whatever you can see in there you can just do that with your with your texture if you want just going in there and using a color ramp setting the colors in there setting the the handles change the colors of those so you can make it colorful as well and then that's basically the whole the whole thing i then just added some more clouds to the outside it didn't really look that good. I think it looked better when these circles were solid, but um, I didn't go back. I had like seven minutes left, so I just thought maybe I could save these clouds, but um, at the end, you couldn't really see them any anyway, so I just left them there. And yeah, that's basically how I made the spiral. I also then went back into this plane, selected the middle face and then pulled it back as you can see right there with proportional editing enabled again. The same proportional editing option that was enabled for the spiral itself. And so I made this not only two dimensional but also three dimensional. You can also use the texture you've applied to the spiral in the or you can plug that into a displacement node. This way you can make your spiral actually three dimensional if you have enough geometry just to make it look better and also if you see that your texture looks kind of choppy you can also assign a subdivision surface to that circle that should smooth it out and will probably look even better then i just went in added a few more stars added some post-production some fog glow and of course denoising and that's the final image i also went into photoshop added the this lens flare and yeah isn't my best work I, it looks kind of lame but <laughs> That's just how it is sometimes. Hope you liked it. Um, if you liked it, you can give it a like. If you did like it, you can hit the dis dislike button and tell me why. And take care.